Today on Mike Attempts, replacing a chainsaw clutch drum. While bucking some large trees, I threw a chain which damaged the drive links enough that they wouldn't fit into the bar groove anymore, so I replaced the chain. What I didn't realize was that the drive sprocket was also damaged, just enough so that it would gradually widen the drive links, creating excess friction and causing premature bar wear. Start by removing the bar, chain, and top cover. Disconnect the spark plug wire and remove the spark plug. Fold a small diameter piece of rope and pack it down in the spark plug hole to prevent the piston from moving. The clutch is reverse threaded, so line up a punch with one of the notches in the clutch and use a hammer to hit it with medium force until it breaks free. Next to the notches on my clutch, it says off with an arrow pointing in the direction it's supposed to spin to be removed. So in this case, right to loosen. Pull off the old clutch drum. Here you can see the drive sprocket damage. Slide off the old needle bearing. The new clutch drum also comes with a needle bearing. Lube up the new needle bearing with some light grease and slide it back on. Slide on the new clutch drum and thread on the clutch, rotating left to tighten. Place the punch on the edge of the clutch and give it a few light taps to snug it up. It'll get tighter as the chainsaw is used. Remove the rope. Reinstall the spark plug. Connect the wire and reinstalled the top cover. Here's the old chain with the widened drive links. Here's the worn out bar. You can see how much side to side play there is in the chain. You can see there is almost zero side to side play with the new bar and chain. Install a new bar and chain and you're done. Feel free to rate this video, add your comments and questions below, and subscribe for more.